Hey guys, Run to Be Healthy here. Um, wanted to get this out tonight because I, I promised people that I would actually do a video review. And um, so here it is. I apologize in advance because I am recording on my iPhone and I loaded these up on my iPad. These are iPhone apps, so they're going to look a little funky. Um, but just bear with me here. You'll get the gist of it and you can decide for yourself. Um, so, for people that have been following me, know that I love the uh, Jawbone Up. It's great. I had a Fitbit Flick, uh, Zip, Ultra Zip, yeah, Zip, little mini one. And uh, I always lost the damn thing, and I must have lost like four of them. So, um, once I found out um, that all my friends from Massive Health um, were John, uh, joined Jawbone and they opened up the API, it was a no brainer. Um, so, I've been using that for a while, love it, <clears throat> they just made some really cool improvements, um, but I came across this really cool app by Zoomio, well, they, uh, tr quite a few apps really, I think like five or six they use, but I'm just going to touch base three real quick. So, Argus, it is awesome, it is free, it uses your iPhone accelerometer, so there's no band, no hardware to buy, um, so pretty much as long as you have your iPhone on you, it, you basically have a free pedometer that's really cool, really automated, and I love it. So the first thing you'll notice is it's got a lot of tiles on here. And I do apologize, these gray ones right here that you see are actual things, um, but I guess they're not syncing correctly because this is on the iPad and on my iPhone. Um, but so right away, um, you see all of your um, you know tiles. So I got my steps. Um, my sleep, my heart rate, weather, the dates, and it's really cool. So if you want to sort it, hold down the tile, boom, all my steps. Um, hold, hold it down again, um, all the days, which I still haven't figured out why they have this because there's no data here. So if any of the Azumio guys are looking, it'd be really cool from in this view if the edges of the tiles either had like a colored bar, like green for your steps, like how close you are, or just small numbers. So I could take a quick look and go, oh, July 30th, I did blah, blah, blah day. So, and again, I've only had this for not even a week, so I'm still trying to get used to this. Um, but it pulls in the weather automatically. It's really cool. Um, and they tap here, um, start here, they got the food. So the food is, you take a picture of what you're eating, and then you select um, what you ate. So take a quick picture, um, try to get this, this is just something here. So, as, find the food, find the food. There's no way I can do this. There we go. Sorry about that. So, and then you just select, so fruits. So it says double tap of food. So, and then, there you go. This is what they classify as a fruit group. Um, I guess if people not aren't sure what's in there, so we'll say, yeah, it's got dairy and, uh, we'll just say dairy and protein. And you hit done. And as you can see, now it's on my tile. Um, and then... I can hold down, there's my two things, I tap it, it shows what it is, not really a whole lot, and then people can, if you link your account with Facebook, you can have people comment on your food, that's about it, I don't see any nutritional information, anything like that, um, so I will still be sticking with my fitness pal for that. Um, also, if you use Facebook, you can have your friends, if you don't use Facebook, you have no friends. So, you, for me, I am forever a lone guy with Argus. Um, you can't add any email, you can't add Twitter folks, Facebook only, which is really annoying. Um, because on my up team, I can invite by email, by username, um, by Facebook, by Twitter. Um, so it's kind of really weird that I can only do Facebook. Especially when your sign-up options are email, Twitter, and Facebook. You should at least be able to invite from those three things. Step in here, you can set up your goal. So my sleep, I get eight hours of sleep. Not a problem. Drink enough water, I'm shooting for the moon with eight. 
and again, I feel really bad for my camera. I wish I had a tripod or something, um, so I do apologize. Um, I don't really move around a lot, so usually I kind of do this, because you got to start small somewhere, huh? So there we go. Uh, trends. So this is kind of like everybody's app here. You can go see your days, and your line is... Um, your line is where your goal is, so and you can come in here and you can compare everything else. So we'll just leave it the way it is there. And then uh yeah, distance and time. So there you go. Pretty basic um devices and app. If you happen to have a life track, whoever makes that, I don't know. A new balance life TRN, you can connect that device. A Y thing scale, if they didn't cost forever, I would have one because they're great. Um so I don't know if they're going to be adding anything else, um, but I have suggested on their Twitter that they should add all their other um, Azumio apps here because it would just make sense, easy to use. Um, hopefully they'll integrate with Fitbit or My Fitness Pal or Up or you know whoever. Um, hopefully that'll happen. Um, settings, um, just kind of pretty much it. So. Hopefully, uh, well, nothing really, no password, but there you go. Um, I don't know, probably shouldn't have showed that. Anyway, <laughs> um, so that's kind of it for that side. Um, again, take a picture. This is probably one of the most, um, oh, yeah, yeah, see, now it's starting to, well, no, I guess now it didn't. I don't know. So one of the most weirdest features, um, it's kind of brief, I guess it's just to get it out of the way. If you slide down, it'll show you your sleep, your steps, and your um your how far you are underwater you let go and it goes away and it's very easy to just not see it all there's no way to like drag it and hold it and just that's what you got to do over on the right you can track your sleep running cycling heart rate body weight it doesn't do your it does do your weight you can enter it manually or if you have the y thing scale It'll automatically sync up here and show you. Um, I have my weight in here, but I'm embarrassed, so you're not going to get to see how much I weigh. So, um, and then also, and I guess one of these grace cubes, or if people comment, they'll show up here, you know, on your Facebook or whatever. If they comment on something, that'll be here. Um, the other cool thing is, thing I really like is, again, it's all automated. So they have a free version and a paid version of all these apps. So automatically, if you have sleep time installed and you are logged in with it on the same account that you logged into Argus. So if you use an email address to log into Argus, you need to use that same email address for any other Zoomio app. So if you sign up with Argus with Facebook and then on sleep time you sign up with your email, it's not going to automatically import and you're going to do what I do and get mad and think it's a piece of junk. But if you time it, what it'll do is you come in here and you set your alarm and then you have your soundscape. So your soundscape is you just play a song. And you know, gentle waves. And these other three, as long as your own, are all from the free or paid version rather. And so you can come in here and mess around all sorts of different settings. You can change what kind of ringtone, if you want snooze or no snooze. Um, hold for off. This is the cool thing. Um, you can't just hit the power button and turn it off. You actually have to hold down the button. And pretty much by that time, you already woke, you already woke up anyways. Um, and you can tell it you know, when within your... So I have mine set to 10 minutes, whatever the best, up to 10 minutes before my alarm. Wake me up whenever is best within the 10 minutes. Um... And as you see, they have a tab called Sleep Tab. And um, as you see, I go to bed kind of late. I sleep for about 7 hours, and my sleep's about 86%. Um, but again, that's not really accurate because my other ones were logged in as another account. Um, but this gives you a pretty much general overall picture. So you can see what time I went to bed, what time I was supposed to get up in the morning, or actually what time my alarm was set, what time it woke me up. What time I got up, how long, for so out of the seven hours, I was awake 14% of the time, which you can see is the orange here. 
Um, so I woke up about 3 o'clock in the morning. Um, so it's pretty cool. And then you can share that here. And then when you first wake up, if you want, you can do your little heart rate monitor and kind of establish all that. So it gives you, you know, trending, as you can see, bar graph. So when I went to sleep, when I woke up for the month, all that kind of stuff. And it adjusts and all that kind of stuff. Um, and the cool thing is, is once I hit snooze, once I hit start, when I wake up in the morning and turn it off, it automatically shows up in Argus without me having to do anything as this. So and I can tap this, and it's pretty much got the same thing. So it's really cool, and that I didn't have to do anything. So, and again, if you have Facebook, you can enable it, and people can be like, dude, you sleep too much, or dude, you need to get more sleep. So they pretty much have made this Facebook intensive where, you know, people can comment on your activity or whatever. It's cool. I don't really want to bug my people with Facebook, and I don't really want to have people, you know, bug me with theirs, but that's okay. Um, and then, again, automatic activity. So just by having my phone in my pocket, it knew that I went for, you know, a nine-minute walk. Um, as you see, got my GPS, Sony California. Here's all my stuff, so if I hover over... Tells you my steps, kind of sped up there, all that kind of stuff. Um, so it's pretty cool. It does everything automatically. Here's another one. It was raining, so I walked the uh, parking garage. So <laughs> as you see, it's all over the place, but it got the parking garage. Um, so, so as you see, yeah, pretty much it's cool. Um, I didn't have to do any of this stuff, so. You don't have to uh, get Run Keeper or anything like that. And, you know, just put it in your pocket and go. Um, so it's really cool. Um, free app. I definitely recommend it. And, um, you know, check it out. Um, you can follow me at, uh, at run, the number two, the letter B, as in boy, healthy. So it's at run to be healthy. Or, yeah, at <laughs> run to be healthy. It's late, guys. I'm tired. Um, that was at run to be healthy and um so always uh, always looking forward to talking to some people and um like i said i by no means am a, a, a model of fitness i'm just a guy trying to lose weight and uh been you know <clears throat> recording it as much as i can and trying to do as much as i can so um it's pretty cool i definitely um you know companies like Math massive health and jawbone and azumio they really make it really interesting to kind of automate your life and i think that's kind of cool to have all this data um especially because now you can kind of take all this data when you go to the doctor's office you can show them like hey this is what i'm doing and i'm losing weight or i'm not losing weight and you know i don't like the medicine i'm on and you know you can't it, it kind of gives you more ammo than just going well, you know, I lost 10 pounds, but then I gained 5 pounds back, or, you know, I don't know why my numbers aren't doing well, or I don't know why this, and you can kind of look at all this stuff, and so it kind of helps you quantify everything, while also, you know, being able to, you know, make your life better, and it's free, so try it out, let me know what you think, um, hopefully this wasn't too crazy, and uh, I'll try to throw it up on my blog as well. But again, this is Run to Be Healthy, and uh, thanks for listening.